You okay? <gasps> what the hell was that? I'm a cop. Son of a bitch, my back hurts. Can you smell something? Oh, oh for Christ's sake, God! Okay. Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Messiah. Uh, for some reason, Fraps wouldn't record my the intro to the game. But and there was no sound in the ga in the intro anyway. Some weird bug. Uh, I know I'm not the only one who had it. Would you please be quiet? I was trying to talk while I was talking. But yeah, this is Messiah. Uh, from it was it was released in 2000, developed by Shiny Entertainment and published by Interplay. And uh, just to tell you what the intro is about, you, uh, well, you are a small angel or a cherub, and you call Bob, and you are sent to what the fuck's that? You are sent to Earth by God to help him clean up. And just before this happened, which you just saw, you are sent down into possessing this guy, causing a giant explosion. And that's pretty much where the game starts. And that is one of the main features of the game, is uh, that you can possess people. So let's just get started. You can run, or you can walk. I've played a bit of this game before, just to uh, access restricted it to commanders. Yeah, that's... you can, like, different characters have different uh, access um, yeah so I like I said I played a bit of this just to learn the controls and uh, check out the graphics stuff like that uh, I haven't read any of these on even though they popped up okay hand symbol boxes and crates marked with a hand symbol can be detonated manually to activate the the countdown stand in front of the hand symbol and press your action button. Press any key to continue. Okay. So Yeah. I don't really think crouching mattered, but it seemed okay. Very uh, important. Like the right thing to do. Uh your head is ringing. Okay, I haven't read this, so let's go. You have come. If it's true, then my prayers have been answered. You are the one. You will set this planet free of its tyranny, and I will help you. I am in a dark place, but I can see you through your eyes and the eyes of others. I will do my best to guide you by sharing what I know and what I steal from the minds of the weak. As a mortal, you must learn how to survive in the world, become comfortable with your new surroundings. I will contact you soon and move you in the right direction. You must trust me. The past has been seen. The past has seen me at the pinnacle of the world's power, but I have been cast down and great evil has taken my place. Interesting. Um this seemed like a quite fun game. So I'm really looking forward to ge to getting started, to like really getting into this. Okay, pick up weapons. To pick up a weapon, move your character over it and press and hold your action button. Look for the pick up icon in the lower right corner of your screen. If you already carry a weapon, you can swap it with the one lying on the ground. Just position yourself near the weapon and you want the near the weapon you want to swap with, then press and hold your action button. Press any key to continue. Okay. Pump gun. <laughs> you don't see that in many games nowadays. Pump gun. At least not called a pump gun. Oh, yeah, I can, uh... Let's see, can I? Oh. No, I didn't want to put down the gun. Okay. Uh... 
I like the graphics, uh, the style, graphic style of this game. Oh, explosive boxes. Using your weapon. Weapons, you can make some boxes explode. If you see a hand detonation switch, then ca characters can even use their hand. Okay. Will you please shut up? Okay, that's a guy down here. Will this day ever end? Nope, it will never end. Okay, I'm sorry for that death, but I really have no choice. That's right. Okay, just killed an innocent civilian. Uh, oh wait, six. Okay, I can pick up his welding gun as well, but I really see no reason for it. Okay, ammo boxes can be picked up only if your character carries a weapon. The amount and type of ammunition you will receive from an ammo box varies based on the type of weapon you are carrying. That's cool. Oh, door mechanisms. Door, doors will either open automatically when they sense your presence, or you will have to operate them manually. To do so, stand in front of the middle of the door and press your action button. Okay, yeah, um, that's pretty normal nowadays. <laughs> okay, here's another door, let's go check it out. Access restricted to radiation workers. Okay, and that guard didn't hear the explosion apparently. <laughs> let's just run. Oh, sniper mode. You can take out enemies without being noticed. You can use your sniper vision. Only cops have this ability. But the three levels of zoom give them a very accurate aim. Shooting someone in the head will kill them him instantly. The pump gun has a short range. Experiment with long range weapons for deadlier results. Yeah, um, I could choose to take out this guy. But there's a lot of noise. But that no, but. Uh, hey, what's up? Okay, but there's a lot of guys right up here. Let's just run for a bit. Uh, the thing is slow in the corner is a good thing, I think, because the controls are a little strange. But yeah, I tried shooting this guy when I was doing like the trial run, but these guys came running after me and killing me instantly. So I'm not going to do that. A lot of people have complained about this game. Oh, when I try to kill them, they just uh, die instantly. And they say that they tried over and over again. Okay, in games like this. Okay. Restricted to scientists. In games like this, you need to be... This is not an action-based game. This is, this is an early example of action-adventure genre. What you want to do is try different options. And in this case... Let's There's a scientist right down there. And if you rem remember what I said earlier, one of the features of the game is that you can possess people. So going the stealth way is probably the best way to do this. In games like this, I would actually prefer to be stealthy and intelligent solutions find intelligent solutions rather than just using brute force I couldn't hear what you said because of something behind you but yeah this seems like a really interesting game and I'm glad I chose to buy it it's a little there's some graphical issues and stuff like that but that it's an old game and it there hasn't been a new any patches for it and stuff like that. Gate 3. Gate 4. Can I go through this? I think I actually did this. In my playthrough. In my trial run. Yeah, this is where I started. Okay. So, I'm going to save in a bit. Whenever I save, I'm going to like cut out the save screen. Yeah, I'm behind you. Don't worry. Uh, 
because I'm going to cut out the save screens and if I go into menus I'm going to cut out those as well. But yeah, I'm going to say right here because the processing part can sometimes be tricky. You have to do it before the guy you previ previously possessed gains consciousness because then he'll see you and kill you. They're actually looking for you for, for some reason. Some of the other gods say stuff like I'm looking for a baby or stuff like that. So let's just say Okay, let's try this. Can be, like I said, a little tricky. And I managed to do it. Now what you want to do is you can see I'm in a combat position. You don't want to be to do that. People will kill you. But yeah, now I'm a scientist. This is awesome. So, and for some reason, uh, when you do this, something happens. Improper use of braking thrusters. Uh, could probably use the door right there, but that's an easier way. Getting past that door right, there, right down there, that's uh, the last thing I did in my trial run. I, I needed to learn the controls because they are a little different than usual games. I really hope the audio on this is okay. Let's run. Uh, but I like, I'm taking it slow in this game. I like exploring, getting the whole thing in. Taking the whole thing in, the experiencing the get off me. <laughs> that's funny get off me I like that they react to you bump into them so now yeah access granted laser di- oh, I didn't get to read that okay access control hey what's up dude go somewhere else okay sorry Holy can you give me a little space here? Okay, sorry. Let's just press this. Unlocking gate four. Unlock gate four. Nice. Oh, a little lag. Hmm. Let's go down there. Uh, hey. <sighs> I wonder if they get suspicious when I run rather than walk. That would be a cool feature. But let's just... Is he smoking? Yeah, he is. No smoking on the job. I like this one. a freaking baby. What? Something about a baby? Hmm. I wonder how they know that I'm here. Okay. We are going down here. And we're going through Gate Fear. Gate four. Okay. What's that say? Uh, the f the free room camera is a little weird. Uh, Nav four offline. Maybe because I like the. Oh, I get the soldiers out of there. I guess by pressing that thing on the switch board. Now, this behind this door is the. Last place I got to. Oh. Uh, being sterilized. But yeah, what's behind this door is amazing. Take a look at this. This is stunning. Look at the environment of this. This is amazing. The graphics. Ah, incredible. This game really didn't get known that much, but... And I don't know why. Oh, okay, let's do this. Your head is ringing. Oh, shit. A mad, inhuman dictator known as Father Prime. Optimus Prime. Uh, is at the nucleus of the Great Shadow. The nucleus? I don't know what that word means. 
of the great shadow that hangs over us. Do whatever it takes to get him, to get to him. He controls the people from his technology center near the entrance to the main city. You can access the center from the lab laboratory that feeds it. I can lead you there, Bob. <laughs> Bob. But you must stay hidden. Use the darkness and hide in the skin of others. The people of this world have no faith and they will fear you and attack you. They are misdirected by years of oppression. You must help them despite themselves and see to the demise of Father Prime or he will see that the planet will con that the planet consumes itself. Cool. Uh My god. This is truly awesome. Now, wait, what's that? We have something up there. Okay. Let's see what's behind door number. Door locked from the inside. Um. Maybe I have to get up and get whatever that is. Ooh, he crawls up instead of jumps. I like that. What is this? Oh, it's a gun. Machine gun? Nice. Now what? Are there some things I can shoot in here? Hmm. Yeah, I... Okay! That's not the right way to do it. Can I shoot something? Shoot this thing? This thing? No. Wait, am I just supposed to jump over it? I guess that could be the way to do it. Let's try. Okay, that was the way to do it. That was a little easier than I had expected. Okay. What the fuck? What happened? What? Oh shit! Okay! So, I possessed something else. I guess I... wasn't allowed up here with that character, so he started shooting me, and now I am back to being a cop, as we started out. I think this will is a good for a the first video. So um and I hope you enjoyed this series. I really s enjoying this game so far. Um see you next time. Bye.